Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. It's time for my annual fails video. So this is something I've been doing for the past several years. I've been collecting clips throughout this season of some of the failures I've had and combining them into one video at the end of the season, which is now here. The garden is pretty much put to bed and we're ready to start planning our season for next year. But let's take a look at some of the failures I've had this year. Well, here's my first fail of the year. It's only March 6th and my first pepper died. I accidentally let this go a little too dry and I've had this happen before but usually it perks back up within a few hours of watering but it's been almost 24 hours and it's still looking pretty bad. This is a Maruga red scorpion and it was my first seedling that sprouted and it was just growing super fast, faster than all the others and that meant it got dry a lot faster so I missed watering it and it's a goner I think. So we had a little accident on this tomatillo. It bent over and was not going to make it, so I decided to cut it off where it bent over. And we have a few little sprouts coming out from what's left, so it might still survive. But these are the other ones. They just got super tall this year for some reason. And I did actually top some of these because they were just too tall. But I did take the cuttings off of this one that bent over, and I am trying to root those in water. So we'll see what happens. I think there's like three cuttings in here. So all this was off of just that one plant. So we'll see what happens. Here's a quick little update on my tomatillo fail. So these are the cuttings that I put in some water and after a few weeks, we have lots and lots of roots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these potted up into some soil and we should have some more plants to sell. So I've already got one potted up here so this is one that got roots and it's doing pretty good. We've got a really bad infestation of spider mites in the greenhouse. It started off with these melons here. The leaves are starting to turn all dry and splotchy. So I've been seeing a lot of spider mites on the leaves and now they've started moving over to the peppers and the eggplants. Most of the cucumbers are doing really well. I've got four here and two back there. However, the Natsu Fushinari here in the middle, the leaves have started wilting. And I'm not sure what's going on. You can see it looks like it's, it might be dying. And I don't know why, but I might have to pull that guy out. So I ended up pruning back all the damaged leaves and spraying it with some pyrethrin and neem oil spray and hopefully we'll be able to save these melons that have formed. The ends of the vines are still looking really good, so I'm crossing my fingers. It was also a problem with the eggplant here, and I did prune back a lot of those leaves as well. I've got quite a few guys here that are almost ready to pick, so we should be okay with there. I think I saved those just in time. The beans here around these bamboo teepees were all supposed to be pole beans, but it turns out probably at least half of them are not pole beans because they're not climbing and they're setting flowers and pods. So that's a bummer. I don't recommend doing the three sister garden with a dwarf type corn. These guys only get about four feet tall and the squash that I'm growing around it here is almost as tall as the corn. So that didn't work out very well. Some of the companion flowers I have around the tomatoes this year are getting much taller than I thought they would. Like this guy here, this is a Mexican sunflower or tithonia. I've actually trimmed it back several times and it just keeps getting taller and taller, which is causing the tomatoes to delay ripening. You can see I cut that off right there and these side shoots are all growing crazy tall and I'm gonna have to prune those down again. The rodents are causing a lot of problems this year. So we're in the greenhouse and I noticed my melon here, the leaves are starting to get kind of wilty, which is never a good sign. So I followed the trail and ended up here 
and found this. So a rat or something just basically bit this whole melon plant off. This was the honey kiss melon. Our last fail of the season is here in the front yard where we have our currants. I have two different varieties, a white one and a red one. The red ones ripen earlier and I got all those picked and put them in the freezer for future use. However, the white ones, I just ran out of time and forgot about them and just never got around to harvesting them. So you can see they're actually still hanging on the bush and there were, there were quite a few of them. So I'm kind of kicking myself for not making the time to get these picked, but at this point they're, they're pretty mushy, dried up, and some of them are kind of moldy. So these are not gonna be good anymore. They just kind of fall off. And we've had a couple of freezes already, so that's another um, reason they're not really any good anymore. They're starting to turn. You can see these ones are a little black. So these definitely are no good. So I'm just gonna leave them on here and maybe they'll be food for the birds this winter. I hope you enjoyed a look at some of my fails from this gardening season. Hopefully we'll have a little bit less fails next year, but it just comes with the territory. If you're a gardener, you know, we have lots of pests to deal with, lots of diseases, and every gardener has their own challenges. Hope you learned something from my failures, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.